Somewhere in the city of Taipei, a family of three children live in a shabby house. Nancy, the oldest sister, is putting on makeup. Nanny, the younger sister, is doing the manicure. Nikki, the youngest boy, is applying the facial mask. In fact, Nancy and Nanny often pick on Nikki because they think Nikki does too many girly things. Nanny, look at Nikki. What on earth is he doing? Can you see it? He applying his facial mask, trying to look attractive. Girls want a man like that. Yuck! How gross! It's a shame to have brother like that. You're right. Why can't he be a little manly? I guess Nikki is a woman in a man's body. Wait. Why are we having sympathy for Nikki? Let's go behind him and give him a surprising shot while he's daydreaming. Good idea. Let's go pick on him. Nancy and Nanny try to approach Nikki quietly, even though they can't help but giggle. They still try not to make any sound. Surprise! What are you two doing? You almost gave me a heart attack. Nancy and Nanny can stop themselves from laughing. They laugh so hard that their stomachs hurt. Nikki looks at his sisters in fear, and tears almost drop down through his cheeks. What have I done to you? Why? An hour later, a servant from a nearby mansion rides a scooter across the street and shouts. <laughs> wow! What a brave breath for me to know Prince Pete. I'm such a good person. He must like me a lot. Stop dreaming, Nikki. We all know that Prince Pete preferred a girl to a boy. What? You call Nikki a boy? I said he is a girl. I don't care what you say. I'm a boy, but I'm kind-hearted and caring. I'm sure I will be a perfect date for Prince Pete. You must be joking, my pretty Nikki. Well, let's go get some nice dress for Prince Pete party, Nancy. I don't want to be here talking to my sissy sister anymore. Yeah. Standing in front of the open closet, Nikki has no idea what to wear for tonight's party. He's so poor and hasn't bought any clothes for years. None of these clothes is right for me. I really wish someone could help me now. Hi, Nikki. I'm Angel Alice. This is my friend Angel Rina. Nice to meet you, Nikki. You look so sad. Are you worried about not being able to find the perfect clothes for Prince Pete's party? Why do you know that? And I don't think I know you too. Don't worry, Nikki. We are good angels. We won't hurt you. Actually, we are here to help you. Yeah, we know you are a good person. Other people look at the outside of you, but we look at what inside of you. Really? My sisters never see me that way. They always say mean things to me. By the way, how can I have a perfect clothes for the party? Oh, that's easy. Now I want you to close your eyes and uh, never open them until I tell you to do so. Okay? Okay. After Nikki closes his eyes and stands there, two angels make a hand gesture, and five fashion mascots appear. When mascots start to talk, anything we can do for you, Angelis? His name is Nikki. He's a boy with a big and caring heart. Prince Pete's party is coming tonight. Oh, I know. And Nikki needs to be well dressed, right? You are so smart. And make him look beautiful. You are going way too far. How do you think we could fashion Nikki and Jorina? Just a nice shirt and a semi-formal pair of pants will do. Nikki already looks good because of his good heart. I'm sure Prince Pete sees the inside, not the outside. Sounds good. Let's get to work. The five best cars quickly turn Nikki into a gentleman. Angel Alice and Angel Rena are flying back and forth to make sure the men's cars are doing their work. After the work is done, all of them fly away and disappear in the air.
Oh my, what has just happened here? I look so different. Oh, I remember. It must be Angel Alice and Angel Arena. They helped me get the right clothes for the party. As the party time nears, Nicky is ready. He walks into the mansion lobby where the party is. All the girls are well dressed and look pretty. They are talking to one another happily. Nancy and Nanny are there too. They see Nicky, walk to him, and all the other girls follow along. No boy here. Why? Is he okay? Nicky, you shouldn't be here. Yeah, Prince Pete is chat. He doesn't need a boy. I, I, I know you don't like me, but I still have my rightful true love. I just want to come and see what might happen. Plus, I'm good. I'm not a bad person. No, no, no. That's not right. You grossy. You should be kicked out of here. Well, everyone is critical of Nicky's presence. Prince Pete walks in and sees everything. He sees the quiet Nicky be condensed with a fatting bag. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my party. I've been watching all of you for the last 20 minutes from my bedroom window out there. And now, I would like to announce my ideal dad, which is going to be the well-behaved boy in the crowd. What? what? What's, What's going, going on? on? Is Prince Pete also okay? okay? I can feel it! Prince Pete invites Nikki to come to him and puts his hands on Nikki's shoulder. Prince Pete's father and mother also come. Stand next to their son and say, Nikki, welcome. We love you and my boy. We love you too. No matter who you are, we always love you. And I'm sure Nikki will be also our good son. You are special. You are special. You're one of a kind. You are original and unique design. You don't have to prove it, no matter you lose it. So raise your voice and sing out loud. You're one. Somebody love. 